Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. Wednesday, new review day here on the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at a brand new release from a German band who's been around forever. God, they got like 12 albums. I had no idea they had so many albums. Of course, AFM Records is where they're housed. The band is Victory. Circle of Life is the brand new album. This follows their 2021 release, Gods of Tomorrow. And before that, their, their last one before that was Don't Talk Science from 2011. So they're trying to make up for some lost time. But their first album called Victory was released in 1985, a long time ago. So let's take a look. This is a rare uh, jewel case for AFM Records. Generally speaking, they uh, do all their stuff in digipacks. Let's take a look here. Pop the CD out. All right. I'll tell you who's in the band in a second. Of course, one name you will know right off the bat. And the booklets. There he is, Mr. Herman Frank, Hermann Frank, of course, formerly of Accept. Gianni Pont Pontio on lead vocals. There they are right there. Cool shot of the band. Got a Mike Pessin on guitars. Michael Stein on drums. Where's the bass player? I must, must have missed him somewhere. There he is. Malte Frederick Burkhart on bass. All right. So on this new album, you've got basically, uh, let's see, 10 songs. It's roughly 40, 45 minutes long, something like that. Um, you know, this is, I, I, I made my first pass through this, and I was kind of like, oh, it's good, serviceable German heavy metal. And then listening to it again and again, and I was like, you know what? This is really starting to resonate me with me. It's just, it's, it's. There's no frills here, but it's just rock solid. I like their last one too. I thought the last album was also really enjoyable. Uh, Ten tracks, and I think it actually gets better as you get going. I think the first half is good, somewhat formulaic, but then it really starts to reveal all the kind of nuances of the record uh, as you get later on. So it starts off with a song called "Tonight We Rock," which is fun, good, crunchy. The, the production, as you can imagine of the uh the guitars are you know big and up front uh who actually produced this album let me go check that out here because uh, i don't remember noting it and uh it's a it's just a good sounding metal record you know it's typical modern production values produced by oh produced by herman frank so herman uh, produced it as well and if you've listened to any of the uh, the solo stuff that he's done, kind of not all that dissimilar. I love the vocals. Vocals are really outstanding. Uh, then there's American Girl. That's eh, kind of cheesy. It's okay. Count on Me. It really starts to pick up steam by like Surrender My Heart. And then track number five, Unbelievable World, is really good. Moonlit Sky is absolutely crushing. And there's all of a sudden these big, humongous riffs start coming out. And some really tasty, blazing solos. And you're like, oh, this is really good. Falling might be my favorite song on the track. That's on the album. That's kind of moody. Great chorus. Great great riffs uh, money is also total money kick-ass reason to love i thought that might be a ballad no that's a kick-ass track as well and then virtual sin is this snarling heavy metal monster to finish off the album and i think it's just really really enjoyable and the more you listen to it the more you're kind of like yeah this is maybe not as kind of like by the numbers as i thought it would be and it's actually just filled with really really memorable songs so i you know I would have no issue giving this at least a 3.5 out of 5. It's probably closer to a 4, so somewhere in that range. Really, really enjoyable. Um, you know, and if you like, it's just, if you like kind of like more modern accept or the Udo stuff, the UDO stuff, it's like that, but maybe a little bit more melodic. And the vocals are definitely more melodic, right? So if you like those big, crunchy German style guitars uh, and with really, really melodic vocals, um, you're going to like this a lot. So yeah, I, I like this a lot. Circle of Life, Victory, Band's been around for Forever. Still kicking ass. Go check it out. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below we got the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, our cameo page, and the Sea of Tranquility membership options. Thank you for all your support on all these things. Greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. Tune in next week for more reviews. That's all you're going to get this week. Uh, just crank this one out before I left for vacation. But uh, next week we got hopefully the new Phil Mog, Mog's Motel, new Sirius Black, Grateful Dead Live, Heron, Big Big Train, all stuff to come. So uh, stay tuned for all that and more. I'm Pete Bardo. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.